So 3D printing is gaining popularity in all industries as it's one of the most reliable forms of computer-assisted manufacturing. Now computer-assisted manufacturing is called CAM and it's used in almost every industry for production in one way or another. So let's take a look at the different manufacturing methods of CAM. Now over the, overall we use three main ones, formative, subtractive and additive manufacturing processes. Let's take a look at each one separately. So formative manufacturing refers to the practice of taking some material, say a sheet of metal, and then you use incremental formation processes to reshape that material into your final product. So think about this as casting and stamping metal sheets, for example. They're great examples of how we use formative manufacturing techniques. So let's take a look at this video, and this is just using stamping dies. We can see that we've got a sheet of metal on a production line, and it's just changing the shape of it incrementally over time until we get to our final product. So this is a full production line going that eventually gets to the final state. Subtractive manufacturing, which was the second one we talked about, it refers to successively removing excess material from a solid block of material. So think of this as laser cutting or CNC machining, like milling or lathing, for example. And they operate on the premise of taking material away from a block to get your final product. So let's take a look at how that might work. So I've got a video here of a laser cutter that we'll take a look at. So we can see that this guy is just printing out some really simple words onto some plywood. So he's using that laser to burn out a very precise shape. And just as quick as that, we can actually produce something. Now the problem with that is, obviously you're using a whole sheet of, uh, whole sheet of wood there, and yeah, you've popped out the part that you need, but you've got all that excess waste material, and unless you're using like perfectly tessellating objects, it's probably not gonna be the most environmentally safe way to do that for sure. And the technology that we're interested in, which is 3D printing obviously, is fused deposition modeling. So it's actually the additive manufacturing technology that we were talking about. Now the core idea behind additive manufacturing techniques is that you essentially are building up your object from nothing. So remember formative was take something, bend it, whatever, make it into what you need. Subtractive was take something, cut parts away until you get what you need. Additive is take nothing, add stuff together to form what you need. So let's take a look at the principle of that. Now I've got this thermal image of a 3D printer at work, so we'll just watch how obviously the, the reddest parts are the, the hottest parts of this, and we'll see that it's laying down plastic on top of itself. So you can see over time, it might only be 0.2 of a millimeter that that's building that up. But over time, it will get to a point where you've got a full model. So that's particularly interesting for us, looking at hobbyists and inventors and makers. What we can do is we can actually print one-off customized models without the additional costs of the full setup of say a laser cutter, all the materials and stuff, especially for uh, 3D printing, you've got very cheap materials. So that's the, the plastic that we use to print with is actually quite inexpensive when you compare it to say big sheets of acrylic or something like that. Secondly, you actually have the ability to print geometries and shapes that aren't possible with laser cutting or formative manufacturing. You've got very high limitations with that technology and there's some limitations with 3D printing, but this falls into a very good space for customized models. And finally, there's no waste really of additive manufacturing processes except for old prints that maybe didn't print just how you wanted them. So that's sort of the, the lowdown on the type of manufacturing process that 3D printing is, and it'll give you a good idea of some intuitive ways of thinking about 3D printing, knowing that it's building something up from nothing.